Jess? Uh, good morning. Hmm. Is it, though? I... well, I guess? He guesses. Wonderful. Well, perhaps you can guess that I really don't want to talk such drivel right now. Go, scurry off and leave me be. Hello. I don't believe I've seen you before. We just came in from the West. Ah, oh, so you're the one everyone is talking about. Everyone's talking? Of course. You're the one who saved Oneida. Uh, my name is Mosca, and I am at your service. If you need anything, just let me know. Say, are you, uh, are you staying long? I don't know. Why do you ask? Well, if you ever find yourself heading east of the village, maybe you could let me know if the roads are safe? Oh, they're far from safe. The town guards mentioned that monsters have been attacking all sides of the village. You're better off staying inside the walls for now. Well, see, here's my problem. I I've been meaning to visit someone in Denham. It's a small village on the edge of Abadi's forest. I imagine this someone is pretty important to you? Well, yeah. See, it's about a girl. Wow, surely she's worth the danger. Oh, she is! She definitely is. I just... I, I want to make sure she's okay. With all these monsters around, there's been no word from Denim at all. Mosca, if my travels take me there, I'll let her know you're thinking about her. Oh, thank you so much! You're great! You're really, really great! locked within within the box my box I don't hear anything well of course you don't my box has been lost somebody must have stolen it perhaps it was that Mosca fellow he's always averting his gaze from me like he's hiding something probably his distaste for your nuttiness I can hear its whispers coming from below down deep down in the earth if you're ever down there please you must find my box and return it at once. And whatever you do, do not open the box. Okay, Reed. If I find your box underground, I'll be sure to bring it back. Hi there. Well, hello. Uh... You're a quiet one. Dust, manners. You'll have to excuse him. He's a bit worn out, saving the village and everything, you know? Yes, I heard something about that. Ah, yes. Well, good. Honestly, it doesn't matter. They'll just keep coming back. I... And there's nothing we can do about it. Excuse me. I didn't introduce myself before. My name is Dust, and my companion here is Fidget. Hello again. Dust? Really? Is something wrong? No, I I'm sorry. It's just an interesting name. I'm Ginger. Oh, and about those people you saved. Yes? Well, that was a noble thing to do. So thank you. She's a cheerful one, huh? A bit of gratitude might have been nice. What kind of a bratty... Hey, ease off, Dust. She looked like she was pretty depressed. I... I don't know why I said that. I'm sorry, Fidget. I... I don't know what came over me just then. Come on, let's keep moving. Hmm. Our famed 
Savior, I had hoped you'd come. Welcome to my humble shop. You honor us with your patronage. Please tell your friends. Your rich one. Thank you. Oh, hi. You're new. Are you travelers? Maybe you can help me? I can't find my little brother, Corbin. He's not in the village? No, he's not here. I can't find him, and I've looked absolutely everywhere. Don't worry, I'll keep an eye out for him. What's your name? My name is Colleen. Oh, I wonder if he left the village. He could get hurt. Calm down, Colleen. I'll look for him. Where did you see him last? I think he was doing something for Mr. Gianni, but whenever I ask him about Corbin, he says he's too busy. I really don't like that guy. Gianni, huh? Okay, wait here. If you find Corbin, please bring him home. I'm really getting worried about him. I'm Mayor Bram. So, you're the hero I've been hearing about. It's nothing, really. We're just passing through. No need to be modest, my friend. We can't thank you enough for your help. Things have been rough in Aurora of late, so having a true hero in our midst is really boosting morale. So, what's your name, son? Dust. My name is Dust. And some of the villagers I've met, they don't seem quite as pleased as you. Ah, are you talking about the Watchmen? You must understand, hardly a day goes by without some monstrosity attacking our peaceful village. They were simply being cautious. Take my word, I'm sure they meant no ill will. And there was also this girl. Yes, that could only be Ginger. Well, she can be a bit of a handful, but don't pass judgment on her like that. You have no idea what she's gone through this past year. She looked pretty upset about something. Don't concern yourself. We have other matters to discuss. What help could I possibly provide? A few giants in a field seem like the least of your problems. Yet again with the modesty. You're no mere travelers, that much I've gathered. Mineral merchants don't wield blades as impressive as yours, Dust. Please, we really could use the help. I don't know. I'm searching for something myself. Then perhaps we can help each other. If you help our village, I promise I'll do whatever I can to help you. But I can be of no assistance while our village is constantly attacked by these creatures. We suspect their leader is close by, and if you could... Whoa, whoa, whoa. You hold on a second. You're saying those mindless thugs have a leader? Until recently, they would attack us in small groups. Nothing we couldn't handle. Now, they coordinate attacks on a much larger scale, hitting the village on both sides, driving our forces apart. I assure you, whatever leads these things is experienced in warfare. What do they want? Our land, I imagine. Just a casual observation, but they don't seem the farming type. Well, whatever it is, it's become a serious problem. If you truly are as capable as I hear... You want us to find their leader? It certainly would cripple their advance. You'd be doing the entire village a great service. How about it, Dusk? Well, I... You feel a conflict of emotions. This is good. I will abide by your decision, Master. I trust you to take the right path. Helping this village is the right thing to do. But it's more than that. It's almost like... like I know these people. Like I have to help them. I think that strange feeling you've got is a little foreign concept called compassion. I'm proud of you, Dust. Of course, if you said no, I need to bite your face off. Charming as always, Fidget. I think you've made a wise decision. All right, Mayor Bram, you've convinced us. We'll do what we can to help stop these attacks. <laughs> That's my boy. 
The Watchmen reported increased monster activity to the east of our village, so I imagine that's where you should go. But do be careful. Strong as you may be, I've seen many fine warriors lose their lives to these monstrosities. I understand, Mayor. I'll be careful, and I'll be back. You're the outsider. Yeah, that's me. That's great. So you must know your way around out there. Maybe you could do me a favor. Depends on the favor. What is it you need? Well, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Fail, and I'm in charge of keeping our guards well equipped. Oh, so their poor equipment is pretty much your fault. <laughs> in so many words, yes. It's not like I enjoy giving them subpar equipment. If I had better materials, I could make better gear. Tell you what, if you could bring me five imp hides, I would gladly buy them off you for more than the shop will offer. I'll keep my eyes open. Much appreciated. I'll be waiting right here. Got company.
the matter? Afraid of the dark? Ha! I laugh at the dark! Actually, I'm afraid of heights. Wait, heights? How is that possible? You fly all the time, everywhere. Oh, do I? I must have forgotten. Just like you must have forgotten that I can still fall at any time. Never looked at it that way. You're an interesting one, Fidget. Your trans...